Hello, I'm Tim Cockrell from Wise Media, and I'm here with Iron Dyer from Grial, which is a company based in Brazil. Welcome, and thanks for taking some time to talk to me today. I understand your company is very much involved in the biometrics sphere in terms of the technology. What interests me is today we are seeing biometrics becoming much more pervasive in all sorts of areas. Traditionally, it was a, an identifier to control perhaps borders. It was, it's being obviously now in passports, everything else, ID cards. But now we're seeing it being used possibly to help people. And I understand there's one particular project you're doing in Brazil where it's offering inclusion to groups who might be excluded from accessing services. Could you perhaps tell me a bit about this? Yes, uh, thank you. Um, the first thing is uh, we see that biometrics are moving from security to convenience. So uh, security has a small market uh, specific use and is kind of scary. Convenience uh, is to help everybody every day. So when I go to an ATM and can access my account without passwords, without documents, using only myself, uh, this is convenience. It may be some kind of security too, but mm -hmm. it's convenience, the most important part of it. Uh, when we have uh, people in need that can access their social benefits with only their bodies, with, without documents, without, without smart cards, without passwords, they, they only go to the ATM and use their biometrics and can withdraw their benefits. That is convenience, it's not much security. There is also security, of course, to make sure the money, small money, but it's delivered to the right person. But the focus is convenience and also economy because it's very expensive to make the money or, uh, gets to the right people on time. I understand. Okay. So yeah. it helps lower the cost of the transaction. Oh, of the transaction. And which um, biometrics do they typically use in, in these examples? Well, in the uh, technology? As you know, fingerprint recognition is pervasive and is the most widely used biometrics. Yeah. So, uh, in this case, mainly because of the interoperability, because uh, the bank, they can use the database from the voting system. So they don't have to enroll everybody again. So one great benefit of fingerprint is interoperability, because there are already fingerprint database. So. Uh, so there's collaboration between, for example, the banks and, and the government who hold these databases? Yes. Whereas in the, what about privacy? Is that an issue? Yes. Privacy, uh, maybe uh, the government or some other organization could make bad use of your private information. But in this case, uh, the voting system that is all about privacy because nobody can know who are, you are voting for. Yes. And the bank, the bank that pays the benefits, that is all about privacy again. Banks and privacy are very well related. So there is no, uh, you know, no talk about privacy in this context because people is very happy with the efficiency of the system. There are no lines, there are no weight. Mm. It's very simple. You go there, get your money, 
and that's it. Uh, don't so it's, it's sharing information that's going to benefit the customers and benefit everybody else. So that's yes. But staying within the the secure element of yes, of with uh, but I see here security as a in second place. I understand. In second place, it's important. It's necessary because you must uh, make sure the right person is accessing the service, but. It's necessary, but it's not the most important. Mm -hmm. The most important is the right person accessing their service or their information easily. Can we talk about a real example? I understand there's one that you've been working on called, is it Borsa Familia? Yes, yeah. Borsa Familia. Borsa Familia. Um, could you tell me how what, what that actually is? Because that's a live example of what we've been talking about, isn't it? Yes. Uh, in Brazil, the Bolsa Familia program uh, gives um, small money for uh, people in extreme pro poverty. Uh, it's about uh, $20 monthly for a person. Since they enroll their sons in the university, well, <laughs> in college, in, uh, in, uh, it gives education to so the schools. And, in yeah, schools, yeah. thank you. And yeah. also vaccinate the kids. If they do that, they get this uh, Bolsa Familia every month. So it's an incentive as well? Yes, it's, it's, it's okay. also an incentive. And uh, about 15 million people got out of the extreme pro pro poverty line in the last 10 years, wow. which is about half the people that was below the line. And uh, mostly thanks to this program, they start doing things and can uh, manage themselves after some so time. And improve their lives. Yes, uh, and the next generation is educated. So less people will need the Bolsa Familia. Uh, this has been a huge success in the last 10 years in exterminating poverty in Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the another example is uh, the um, pension, pension for retired people. When uh, sometimes they are very old and can't use the bank, can't use the system, they don't know how to interact. So it's much easier if you don't have to type in passwords, put a card. They and don't remember them as well. Remember the password, yes. Yeah. They only use the fingerprint. So they can say, point to the money and they get it. Yeah, yes, that's as easy as that. Excellent. So, so you're seeing some very real results and improvement in, in society. Yes, yes. Or social conditions, put it that way. Yes. Yeah. On the management side, on the bank management side, the costs associated are much lower because they had a huge problem with uh, recovering passwords. So this is not the case anymore. Oh, okay. Most of people goes, goes through the ATM and it's much easier. Okay. And much less cost. And is this nationwide? Is it all around Brazil or is it, is it in specific areas where you have a biometric enabled Yes, it's ATM. national. And it's the same bank that pays the Bolsa Familia, hmm. the pension for retired people, and the uh, unemployment benefits. Okay. So, so everybody... The can just the access their Yes, the three their social benefits. programs are federal. Right across, the, right across the country. Yes. Well, it's really interesting. From the 160 million people, the program uh, attends uh, 50 million people. Gosh. I never realized it was so big. Well, that's really interesting. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Obrigado. Obrigado. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>